Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and in this science video, we're gonna be talking about time dilation and this is gonna be kind of unscripted because time dilation is a very crazy weird concept uh, that isn't easy to grasp or easy to explain. The most simplistic way though is the mathematical derivations that you can find online which state the ratio of the difference in time between two observers is one over the square root of one minus the velocity squared over the speed of light squared and if you don't understand that proof uh, spelling it out won't be any easier but i'll give you the gist of time dilation and how it's kind of coupled with the theory of special relativity so to lay it out, uh, the foundation, of course, if you didn't know already, the speed of light is always measured at the same speed. This means if you're traveling 90% the speed of light towards or away a photon, uh, you'll still measure it as being the speed of light. Uh, and that's 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, about. Uh, in contrast, if someone shot a bullet at you and you were driving away from it in like a car, uh, the speed of the bullet would be moving at a slower rate relative to you in the car meaning that when it uh if you were measuring the speed of the bullet um, from the car it would be lower than if you were outside of the car seeing the bullet speed by so if light um, should be measured moving at a slower rate as you travel away from it um, and it isn't then something must have changed and that something is time if a photon's velocity is constant but it's traveling a longer distance in the same amount of unit time such as one second, then this means that the time scale must have gotten longer. So one second isn't necessarily the same as a one second from somewhere else. And this means that time has just slowed down for the person traveling away from the photon. Uh, so what, what's weird though, is when a day goes by faster than other days, when you perceive the day to go by faster, when you perceive the day to go by slower, um, even though, you know, fundamentally, time is not changed, um, it hasn't stretched, it hasn't shrunken, um, especially, I mean, a day-to-day -day life on Earth. But uh, the way we perceive it is different. And imagine a different species um, on a different planet that um, evolved in a way that the it's different than us. Maybe it's faster, maybe it's slower. Uh, maybe animals on Earth perceive time differently. Maybe if you were an alien on a different, on a different planet and you perceive time um, differently, maybe humans would look like they're running by, um, you know, back and forth, back and forth, as, you know, because to you it, it's just different. Um, that's one thing that, that time dilation doesn't really look at. It doesn't look at the observer. It looks at the fundamental mathematics behind it. Um, so that is an interesting idea in itself and for example you can capture time in video and speed it up and slow it down and and you can reverse it but if if you slow it down you slow it down to a point where it, it pretty much stops and what's interesting is that if you could see events at slower rates then why can't things see the world at slower rates uh, you know, why can't they perceive it at that rate? Um, you don't know, and we don't know. And that's an interesting thing about time dilation and, you know, these special theories of relativity that don't really look at the human factor when looking at this. But anyways, thanks for watching.